Your Lincoln Mercury dealer presents the nationally syndicated columnist of the New York Daily News, Ed Sullivan's Toast of the Town, named America's number one TV variety show. And tonight, Ed is on vacation. And as host for Toast of the Town, we have the great Dane, Victor Borga. Thank you very much. It is indeed a great pleasure and honor to be taking over for Ed Sullivan, who is having his vacation, as you probably have heard and read about for the last two months. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would like to play a couple of things for you uh, before we get into the big production numbers, because they might squeeze me out later on. <laughs> <laughs> Usually I get a number started and I have six to seven or eight minutes and then after two minutes there's a cut. Now I'm going to do all the things I have cut for the last five years. <laughs> and uh, I would like to begin with a couple of popular tunes and I sincerely hope you recognize them. <laughs> because if you don't, they might not be as popular as I thought. Pardon me for sitting down while I play the piano. <laughs> this piano, ladies and gentlemen, and children of both sexes, <laughs> this piano is built by a model of a famous swimming pool, or after a model of it. <laughs> Can you see this little gadget here? You know, the millions of people in the world do not know what this little gadget actually is for. Unfortunately, I happen to be one of them. <laughs> this is... I think this is one of the new pianos. Uh, Lincoln Mercury, um, in a uh, used car lot, they bought it. <laughs> It doesn't have flat tires. <laughs> Everything is flat in it. <laughs> Popular tune. <laughs> Pardon my back. <laughs> Pardon my front. <laughs> Pardon my front. <laughs> Popular tune. Do you know that one? <laughs> I'll play another one. Well, I'm awfully sorry, but I don't know this one too well. <laughs> well, I shall now play another one with which I'm not too familiar. <laughs> Then I shall play one I don't know at all. <laughs> that will be followed by excerpts. <laughs> In this case, excerpts from Rachmaninoff's second piano concerto, number two. <laughs> no. <laughs> by Rachmaninoff, of course. Sergeant Rachmaninoff. <laughs> he also wrote the music for this particular composition. <laughs> It's a piano concerto for piano and concerto, of course. And it was written in four flats, because he had to move four times while he wrote it. <laughs> this concerto by Rachmaninoff was originally written for 95-piece symphony orchestra, but due to circumstances beyond my control, I'm only a guest, we seem to be approximately 72 pieces short. <laughs> But you won't notice the difference because I play it very fast. Man enough, second piano concerto. Now, when you hear this. That is the introduction. And when you hear this. That is the main theme. And when you hear this. And there is the 
definitely something wrong because that's Tchaikovsky. <laughs> This is as far as I go with this omelet. And now, would you like to hear the famous Polonaise in A flat by Chopin, the one? Now, is there anyone here who can play it? I'd be delighted to hear it. <laughs> no? Well, that takes care of that. Well, I think my time is up, as usual. I shall be back later. <laughs> <laughs>